All about love and Sagittarius. You might remember you're living in a sagittal plane. That's half man, half horse. The ruling planet is Jupiter. Very good. Well, Jupiter, etymology, relates to what? Zeno. Hmm, Zeno? Zeno relates to Zeus, Greek mythology, astrology in your school. They teach that. It is Zeitgeist and Zephyr. Well, that gives birth to what? Your Zeitgeist movie where they show a ball earth. Interesting. I drive a Zephyr car. That's my car. Interesting. Zephyr means what? The West Wind? Hmm. That would be your Wonder Woman. Hmm. The Pyramid. Illuminati symbol. Your West Wing. And they're wearing black and white for Freemasonry. Hmm. And we have, of course, World of Warcraft. WC Warcraft is your WC Fields review. Bam. And your Winston Churchill. He was a eugenist. Sterilization of inferior races. And your rap group. WC in the Mad Circle that was founded by who? Ice Cube and Earth is the Cube in geometry. Now, boom. Zephyr means the what? The west wind, dark, gloom, and um, west coast is associated with gang violence, right? Mmm, death. Interesting. Well, we know that uh, the sun sets in the west and the Egyptians considered it as uh, death, okay? Because the sun dies for a little bit. But wait a minute, we have Black Star here. For what reason? Because it mentions the black star, of course, that's Saturn setting your sun, most deaf and Talib Kweli. Your most deaf rapper, same letters as your Dura Mater, mother of the brain, right? Your Demi Moore, review, mm-hmm, interesting. And your mailer, demon, why is a devil in your email? And Kanye West, for death, a symbol of the, the cult of death. Skull and Bones means the brotherhood of death. And there's a Boulet version of that, the black version. Interesting, y'all. Now you have breaking wind, Zephyr, remember, it means wind, interesting, god of wind. You have a windbreaker that you wear, that's the WB network as well, with bad comedy. That's your whoopee cushion, wind, breaking wind, whoopee, hmm. Once again is Winston Churchill, wow, the eugenist, and your whoopee Goldberg, interesting, wind. Jupiter relates to what? To Juno, well what is Juno, hmm. Yeah, the Juno Awards of Canada, and look at the symbol. It's a one serpent around a pole, like your woot, woot, ambulance, only giving you one uh, kundalini serpent, dividing you. When Mercury shows you caduceus of two serpents, you have a pituitary and pineal, Shakti and Shiva. Baphomet, the pedophile god, not only evil, has a caduceus with two serpents. So even in darkness, they need the two. Now, Raphael is Mercury. I'm inserting this here. It's important because you must know that you have a what? A Rafe in your brain. You understand? It's a symbol of Mercury, the messenger, back to Jupiter. Now Juno relates to what? Money. Wow. And June from Jupiter? That's your Uno also. Juno, Uno, card game review. That's your Uno Pizzeria. Now back to, of course, Juno. Uno is money. Is that more money and more problems with your puff daddy? That's three M's in Freemasonry. It equals what? M, M, M is 12 for your number three. And there it is, added up. And your number three in Freemasonry relates to what? It's getting a bit blurry here. Hold on. Number three relates to the who? Craft Masonry in Freemasonry. Look, Craft Masonry, number three. Now, Craft Masonry is Mariah Carey, slow down, Jay. That's your mind control, whoa. And your Charles Manson, whoa, weird, right? Now, we have Andre 3000, hmm, a Masonic number. Now, Jupiter relates to what? Of course, Thursday in an asteroid, but Mars and Jupiter appear. That's your jam or your M and J letters, Michael Jordan review. Oh yeah, we have to always review, Jordan Maxwell truther. Okay, and your space jam, Mars and um, Jupiter is jam, your strawberry jam. Now, Jupiter leads to a sigil in which a mistress died and we find Jupiter. Maybe he weeped or cried over it. Maybe a man also cried over the loss of Venus falling from his Athena, uh, from the forehead of Zeus, Jupiter. And then we know that um, Isis, right? Uh, pardon me, there's Venus as Athena, just so you know. Also known to be a moon, Isis. We have the Merry Widow, right? The ballet, where you weep over loss. Maybe your planets or your orbs also die and lose things. Well, we know that Isis, moon and Saturn and Osiris, Isis wept, Merry Widow, cried over who? Osiris. You understand? 
So Jupiter also lost Venus, and Saturn took her. Now, we go back here, why are the dice being shown? Because when you research it, it looks like, as Plutarch says, Isis and Osiris, dice was played. Dice with the moon? Well, excuse me, but Earth is the cube in geometry. Those are the anuses of your Earth, or your Uranus, colon people. Earth is the cube in geometry. You see that? Now, that's your dice. So, we know that anus and colon and Saturn and Satan and Kazakhstan, didn't Sasha and Baron Conan, Cohen, that comedian, play a, a Turkish guy from colon, anus, Uranus? Right, the dice board, December. Wow. Now, Anuit Coptis relates to, of course, who? Jupiter, right there. But it also has the eye of the pyramid? Hmm, which is why your Illuminati people are worshipping Jupiter. You understand? And then also Jupiter is Jah, Hallelujah, Yahweh, and Elijah. It's not just a black Jesus, it's a white one too. And Jah is Jupiter. Wake up and use this to help people.